Holy moly macaroni! We got the details breakdown of the deliveries for each vehicle model here in China for last week, which is October 16th to October 22nd. And we got some very good information. Hoo hoo hoo! All right, so kicking things off, we got ES6 deliveries. 1,537. That is down 52 from 1,650. Down 5 percent. Who cares? I mean, like it's a tiny difference, negligible. All right. And then we got the ET5 and ET5T deliveries. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for this? 1,220. Damn. Up 356 from the week before. 35 percent week over week increase. Hmm. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. And then we got the ES8. Oh my God, this is a big one. 666. 666 deliveries. That is up 307 from the week before, which is a up 48%. All right, week over week increase. Very good. And then we got the 777. 177 vehicles for the 777. That is up 44 from the week before. 31% increase. Mm, 777. Cool. Next, we got the EC6. This is the big boy. We are up 89% week over week. 767 deliveries. That is up 248 from the week before. EC6 deliveries are ramping up, boys. And we got an even better statistic for you. So total SUV sales, all right, has increased. So that's ES6 plus uh, EC6. I'm not counting the ES8 because the ES8 is in a different price category. Uh, what we're worried about is product cannibalization. So EC6 taking ES6 deliveries and vice versa. But I got good news on this front. So deliveries overall has actually been increasing. So total SUV ES6 plus EC6 2,169 the week before and then last week 2304 so we got a good increase all right we got a good increase so that's a good 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 trend now what does that look like if we plot it out all on a chart oh my god this chart is getting longer and longer as we go and go so as we can tell the es6 has pretty much stabilized at around uh, 1,500 ish, even though we're seeing 1,537, that's the lowest amount in the previous several weeks. Of course, not including the holiday week. So, not too much to, to get happy about for the ES6. I mean, as long as it stabilizes around that area, that's cool. And then we got the ET5, ET5T delivers rebounding. Pretty nice, 1,220. Not bad, not bad at all. I think these are these are something to be happy about, and we'll see why when we compare it with the Zeker and the BMW numbers. All right. So uh, next up, we got the EC6. If you look at the EC6, bam, it is rising up and up and up. Very good uptrend, man. Damn, right now that is number three in the most uh, hot seller vehicle for Neo. Hopefully this gets to number two spot, but I guess ET5 and ET5T will always be the number, number two spot. But hopefully this continues its uptrend, get to like a thousand-ish. That would be very, very nice. Cool. And then the ES8, ooh, ES8 deliveries, 666, and that is very close to all-time highs. That is very close to all-time highs of 679. So we are getting back up there in terms of ESA deliveries. Demand for that car is also quite high. It is the best heavyweight SUV that you can get, all right? And then the 777 just chugging along. Uh, it is it is unfortunate that the 777 isn't seeing very good results or, or on a big, big uptrend. The product, especially the ES7, really needs a further revamp uh, and that is coming very very soon so that is what the overall picture for neil looks like but how about competitors this is very interesting because uh we got to take a look at some of the best selling competitors so for example zeker all right let's take a look at zeker zeker all right zeker 001 last week delivered 1234 that is down 601 from the week before so zeker deliveries are starting to fall all right, equating to negative 28% percent 
week over week growth. Hmm, interesting, interesting. And then BMW i3. BMW i3, last week they delivered 1,251. That is up 21 vehicles from 1,230. Tiny 1.2% increase. Hmm, nothing, nothing to get happy about there. And then BMW iX3 588, that is a 19 vehicle increase from the week before, 2% increase. So basically, across the board, the competitors, the main competitors in the luxury EV uh, above 300,000 RMB range, they're, they're just chugging along or decreasing, nothing like Neo's growth. So if you look at that on a chart, ho, 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 take a look, man. Whew. Very interesting. So BMW i3 uh, actually in the sedans, all right, in the sedan sector, BMW i3 is in front now. Interesting. Just by a tiny, tiny, tiny bit about Zeker dropped from first spot to number two spot. Used to be the best selling vehicle. Now the best selling vehicle is the ES6 now. Cool. And ET5 and ET5T is catching up. So these three cars are neck and neck at around the same level, 1,200 ish. Uh, it's very interesting. And uh, we, hopefully we can see Neil ET5 push above those guys, reclaim the number two spot, and BMW i3 and Zeker 001. Hey, these guys, man, they probably have to do more price cuts <laughs> to spur up sales. But that's 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 dumb, all right? That's dumb. And then BMW iX3, iX3, take a look, being overtaken by ES8 and EC6. Ha <laughs> ha There's nothing to to be excited about the iX3. And uh, yeah, the, I, I rarely see iX3s here uh, in China. I've seen one iX, I've seen one iX3. You just don't really see that car. Whereas for Neo, you know, you see Neos very, very often here in China. And then for the 777, just chugging along, not too much to be excited about. Now, here is the interesting one. If we look at the overall market share, the market share, ho, 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 we got that. And this is, of course, uh, a little bit biased because we're just comparing uh, two products from BMW and one product from Zeker, but those are in the same price category. Everything else is sort of uh, negligible and also uh, not in this price category, all right? So if you look at the best-selling ones, overall, ratio-wise, luxury premium EV here in China, Neo has 59% market share compared to uh, BMW and Zeker with only 25%. For BMW and 17 for Zeker respectively. It just comes to show you that when people are spending heavy bucks for the EV, they still want to choose something that's uh that's more well known or more technologically advanced and more well rounded, and that includes service, infrastructure, etc. And infrastructure is becoming a big selling point for Neo right now with just with them just breaking 2,000 swap stations. Uh, and now actually 2001, they're marching forward with those swap stations. Very, very intense, very nice. Hopefully we can continue to see the uptrend in deliveries. That will be very, very good. And hopefully that happens, fingers crossed, all right?